Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to Issues Unite. Okay, so I'm going to talk about Kenosha. And I'm going to point out a few things that are really simple and really obvious. So simple that even the people defending Rittenhouse can understand them. Do you know how simple that has to be? All right, so let's start with Blake. First of all, let's look at the timeline. From the time the police responded to the call to the time that he was shot seven times is reported as being something like three minutes and 11 seconds. The witnesses say that he had just broken up a fight between two females. And yet, in this period of time, you know, they, the police say that he had one of them in a headlock and they tried tasing him. All right, this is before he ever goes walking around the car before it's on the video. All right, so, yeah, in three minutes and 11 seconds, he had a police officer in a headlock that there were three, at least three officers present. But he managed to get one of them in a headlock and three officers could not bring him, could not tackle him or stop him in any other way? Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, now, let me point out something very, very obvious. When, you, when he gets to the car, he, is, he has his back to the officers standing in the car door. Make believe that this chair is my car seat. Okay? The floorboard is here. I'm like this. Can you see if I got a knife? Can you see if I got a weapon? The, he was unarmed before getting to the car. There are actually no claims that he actually picked up the knife. And even if he picked up the knife, he was standing in the car door with two officers right behind him why couldn't they use the car door to restrain him? Why, why seven shots, not just one in the leg? Okay? Then, when they talk about a knife, they say there was a knife on the floorboard, on the floorboard of the car. Well, I don't know about you, but... I don't tend to drive around with a knife floating around next to my feet while I'm driving. It's kind of dangerous. So uh, the thing you need to pay attention to is that they don't say what kind of knife. For all you know, it could be a butter knife, a putty knife, a plastic knife. The police haven't said what kind of knife. Okay? Now let's get to Rittenhouse. So, all the people defending him, calling him a hero, uh, because the people he shot had some history, some, uh, some prior criminal history. Well, first of all, they had apparently done their time at, uh, and gotten out, so they had paid their debt to society. But let's just ignore 
any of that. The fact is that Rittenhouse had no idea who those people were. He did not go there with the intention of going after those specific people. When he fired his gun, he had no idea who he was shooting at. It didn't matter who he was shooting at. <clears throat> the first person he shot in self-defense, he shot, what, four, five times? Once in the back. So now we've got two incidents in the same city by white guys shooting someone in the back in self-defense. And, and some of you want to defend this. All right? Rittenhouse had the, the weapon he was carrying was illegal. He was not of age to own this weapon. Second, he, de he was not defending his city. He didn't live in that city. He doesn't, doesn't live in that city. He doesn't live in that state. He crossed state lines with a military configuration weapon for the express purpose of shooting people. He says he was defending property. That's funny. He was in the middle of the street. What property was he defending? What property is in the middle of the street? Huh? No. What Rittenhouse went there for was to kill. He, he was hunting human beings. He was hunting human beings. He was looking for an excuse to shoot someone. He, if you shot somebody and were emotionally traumatized by it, would you then shoot two more people within seconds? He has no remorse, no sorrow. And then he, he ran. He went back out of state. Okay, well, if he was defending uh, property and what have you and uh, all this stuff, well, then what? The protest was still going on. What, after he shot three people, did, was his protection and heroism no longer necessary? No. He achieved the goal that he went there for. He shot people. That was his goal. That was the whole point. That is the whole reason he was there. If you feel remorse, do you run? If you feel remorse for shooting someone, do you shoot two more people and then run? That's not remorse. That's trying to get away with it. All right, so this should be simple enough for even Rittenhouse supporters to understand. You don't have a defense for this person. I don't care what you think of the people that tried to disarm him in an attempt to stop him from shooting other people. Whatever their history was, at that moment, they were trying, at least two of them were trying to stop him from shooting people.
So, no, no, he's not a hero. And he had no idea what their history was. He did not pick out those people. He was there to shoot anyone, anyone at all. If you had been there, it could have been you. So no, stop calling him a hero. Stop reading shit into things. Stop trying to, uh, stop with the racism. Stop with the, stop licking the police's boots. Because first they came for the socialists. Your neck is the next one that the knee is going to be on. It's only a matter of time. The police are getting more and more violent. The police get violent before the protesters do in most cases. The protesters and, and so forth get violent as a response to the police. The purpose of the protests is about police violence and the police are responding with violence. Besides, you're talking about destruction of property. Okay, well, most of that property is business property. It's insured. Or it's government property. It's insured. It is property. It is buildings. All right. Even, even the stores that are looted are insured. You know, yeah, I, I think it's a lot worse if it's a small business than a corporate business. But damn, how many freaking small businesses can afford to have a place downtown anymore, you know, in, in any city? Not, not a whole lot. But, okay. But the insurance will pay this out. They have to pay this out, one way or another. You are putting property over human lives. The whole reason for these protests is because of people being abused, beaten, and killed by police. All right? You are putting property over human lives. How long has this been going on? It's been going on for decades. Too many decades to count before it finally hit the fan. It was a fuse waiting to be lit. It's lit. You're not putting it out now. So, you can either... Either stand with the people that are calling for police reform. Or you can just admit that you're a bootlicker. That's it. Uh, in this case, guess who's going to win? Because sooner or later, it is not going to be the police. This is not an issue that is going to go away. Not until it is resolved. It is not going away anywhere in this country. It won't. Get that through your head. So I don't care how much you think, uh, you know, force is how to deal with every problem. Okay? The more force the police use, the more force they're going to have pushing back against them. The riots are, are still going on in Oregon for over three months now. Funny how the media barely mentions that. Three months on a nightly basis. It's still going on. Do you, do you realize that the 
yellow vest protests in France have been going on for over a year and a half and they're still happening? No, the media doesn't want you to know that. If you're standing up against the establishment, the media is going to try and portray you as the bad guy. Or they're just going to try and just give a full blackout, not cover it at all. They won't talk about it like it's not, as if it's not happening. But it's happening. It's going to keep happening. And it's going to keep escalating until the police and city councils, until our government at every level demands police reform and takes real steps to enact it. So, you go on and defend the people that are shooting people in the back. I'm not with you. All right? So, if you're on my social media page and you, and you support all of this, I, I, all, all these uh, police and uh, people shooting, uh, you know, hunting down human beings, if you support police abuse and any kind of abuse and murder of human beings, just say goodbye. I don't want to hear nothing from you. I don't need the drama. Just say goodbye. All right, that's it for this one. Uh, share this video. Talk about these subjects. Talk about all the simple little observations I just made. Talk about them widely. Think about them deeply. All right? If you can, please donate a dollar a month and uh, help expand the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.